get to it. I've been working hard today. How have you been doing? <laughs> okay, we're going to do the exercise that I listed on the community page known as four sets. So if you want to do just two sets of this, you can. I think it takes roughly 10 minutes for two sets. Call it two sets if you want to, or let's work up into the 20 minute range for four sets total. We're going to begin with a single overhead press from our knee. So I'm going to take my left knee down to the earth first. My right foot's going to stay in front of me. Those toes are up. Weight in my left hand. Let's press up for 10 repetitions. One, two, three, four, a slightly lighter weight and begin the halo. I want to get down and get up. So I'm going to begin my circle. It can be contained over my head or you can make a bigger circle. You decide. Get your rhythm going. I'm going to come down onto my right knee. Make a circle come up. I'm going to switch my circle. I'm going to come down onto my left knee. Make at least one revolution and come up. Coming down onto the right knee. I can switch that rhythm. Switch the revolution any point in time or keep the revolution the same direction you choose. As you come down to the earth, brace your abs a bit just before that knee hits the floor so that you can have a soft landing. I make sure that the ball of my foot hits first, followed by the knee. Relax the abs. I think it's two more on each side. Let's go for it. One more each side. Remember as always, it's your tempo, your pace, your workout, your rhythm. If you're a little bit slower than I am, wonderful. If you're a little bit faster, no problem. Let's come all the way up. Weight in the top hand. Same foot facing forward, other foot to the side windmill. Five here. One, two, Three, four, try not to lean forward too much. Five, let's switch sides. There's an, a little bit of a forward flexion. Mainly we're hinging at the hips. I'm using this arm against this leg, leg against this arm, lifting up the toes. And coming up, there's a lot of activity happening in the body proper. I'll break that down in future windmill workout videos. For now, let's finish. Is it one or two more? Oh, me and counting. I'm gonna do one more for good measure. With the weight at your chest or no weights, it's up to you. Let's take the left foot onto your stool or chair or block or just behind you and let's come down for five of these. Four. Three, two, and one. Let's come all the way down to the earth for chest press. This is our first set. We're gonna do three more sets. You can do two arms at once, or one arm at a time, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go with one arm at a time. I'm gonna begin with my left arm here. One, oops, excuse me, I move that weight. Here we go, two. We're going for 10, three, four, five. Breathe deep in through the nose, out through the nose or the mouth. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Weights down, we gotta go from the top. So I believe I had my left knee on the earth first. So now I will Put my right knee down onto the earth. Okay. Weight in my right hand. Overhead press 10 times. One, two, three, four. Halfway marker. Five to go. Five, 
four, three, two, and one. All right, time for a halo. Find the weight of your choice. Start those revolutions. Three, here we go, here's number three. Come on, two more. One more, each side, we're strong. We got this. Come on. Weight in the top hand. This foot forward. That foot to the side. Let's go. Active belly. We don't want a stiff belly. Allow it to move as you breathe in through nose, out through nose or mouth. Toes up, toes up. Try not to shrug your shoulder, pack that shoulder, pull this top shoulder blade downward into that thoracic part of the spine. Lock it, lock it in. There's no need to rush. Sometimes they get very motivated mentally, very excited, and then, because truthfully, every, everything begins with a thought and then a breath. It's easy as you get excited and that adrenaline kicks in and the endorphins kick in. It's easy to speed up. Maintain, maintain tempo. Okay, now right foot onto the bench or chair or behind you. Left foot in front, toes up, single leg squat. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one, coming down for chest press. This is set number two. Had the weight in my left hand, yeah? <laughs> so I will go with my right this time. You ready for 10? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, halfway, halfway, halfway. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done. Any of these workout routines can be done at a slower pace. You could take time in between each exercise, time in between sets. It's really up to you, however you want to do it. I'm going to keep us moving to our halfway mark. We've just got two more sets to go, so let's go from the top. I'm going to take my weight in my left hand, come down onto my left knee, and we're going to perform the OH press. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Don't let this forward leg fall out. You want to keep it nice and tight to the groin. Is it three or four more? Let's say three. Two more. Press it up. One more, press it up, press it up. Good work, let's come up for the halo. All right, now I'm gonna try to do not so much fast, I'm not trying to speed, but I do wanna try to keep a slightly different clip going for my third set here if I can, which I guess does translate it to being a little bit quicker. I haven't done this movement pattern in a while. I'm happily challenged with the coordination effort it is taking to hit those three we've just done. I don't know if the clip is any different at this point. 
full range of motions what I'm trying to go for. One more on each side. This exercise packs a punch, doesn't it? Here we go, finish strong, third set. Come on, weight in, top hand, other foot turned to the side, let's go, windmill. Four more. Two more, all the way down, all the way up. We're going to switch sides. Are you ready? Are you ready? Say yes. Thank you. Here we go. Third set, three of four. And here's number one of five. Repetitions. Here's two. Three, three, three. Four, four, four. Five, five, five. And coming up, single leg squat. Left foot on top of my chair. And let's go. Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Chest press, chest press. So I did my left arm first. Yep, so here we go for set number three. Left arm again. Three, two, one, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more. Nicely done. Here we go. Set number four. This is it. This is it. This is it. We got to take that overhead press for one more ride. Weight will be in my right hand. Right foot will be, here we go, on the bench. Right knee on the floor. Ten of them. Let's do it. One, two, Three, stay engaged in the midsection all the way through. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one more, one more strong. Whoop, nicely done. All right, come on up. Oh, halo time. Halo, halo, halo. Here we go. My goal is five on each side. Make it happen for you. Oh, if you end up doing a few more, perfect. If you end up doing a few less, perfect. You're still doing them, right? Really want to plan my rising. Plan the rising up. Each side, come on. Yes. One more time, each side. This is it. And finish strong, come on. All the way, all the way, all the way. Weight in one hand up top, same foot forward. Other foot to the side. Windmill time five. Four. Catch your breath as needed. Three. Two. And one more time with feeling. Are you with me? Say yes. I know you are. Five, four, three, two, one last time. 
We gotta finish strong with chest press. Chest press is coming. If you're doing single arm, remember which arm you gotta finish with. For me, it'll be the right arm. Get into your position. If you were doing both arms at once, that's fine. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nicely done, nicely done. Roll to one side. Come to a seated position. Catch your breath for just a moment with me. Oh, I want to give a shout out to one of my sponsors, Nicole Bowton of Neurogenesis Neurofeedback. She's a licensed and experienced neurofeedback technician. And what a session looks like is, I'll describe my session, I'll come in, I'll sit in a chair, we'll talk for a little bit about how I'm feeling. Sometimes she'll give me a vibrating stuffed animal to hold. Sometimes it's just the stuffed animal. Sometimes I'm not holding anything. She'll very lightly attach these little wires to my head. Nothing, there's no poking in, nothing, there's no needles, just these little topical things in certain places so she can watch my brain waves. And she goes to a computer and I'm looking at a video screen and it looks a lot like a video game. Patterns and colors and things. And she then, while I'm sitting there just relaxing, sometimes I'll have headphones on with or without sounds, but I'm definitely looking at the screen and relaxing and she'll ask me questions about how I'm feeling and she will then adjust on her computer what she needs to, to basically get the brain waves. Excuse me, for lack of a better word, she's, she's the science person here on it, but just to get your brain back to where it would like to be for, for optimal functioning. And there are many reasons why one would choose to utilize neurofeedback as a tool in their, in their healthcare program. And I will leave that up to you and your neurofeedback technician to discuss. But if you would like it, I'm going to put Nicole's information in the um, section below here and you can reach out to her for more information that costs you nothing. But a big shout out to Nicole. She has continued to improve my life over the time I've been working with her and it's an honor to know her and to be in her company. And it is always an honor to be in your company. Thank you so much for a wonderful workout. Make it a beautiful and moving day and I'll see you in the next video. Oh. Thank you for subscribing. Tell a friend.